Praise God, praise God forevermore. Glory to God Almighty. We thank God for his mercies, for his faithfulness, for his love, for his preservation of our lives. You know, the psalmist said in Psalm 103, he says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name, who forgives our iniquities and heals our diseases and redeems our lives from destruction. You know, I'm particular about that redeeming our lives from destruction because we need God's redemption in our nation, Nigeria, at this time, with so many challenges, so many insecurity issues, but we thank God because he redeems our lives from destruction. The Bible says, a thousand will fall at our side and 10,000 to right hand, but it will not come near us. And I want to believe that everyone joining us tonight, that will be your experience. It will not come near you. But we're praying tonight for the nation. And we've been doing this for 18 weeks now. Every Monday and um, Friday, we started the Fridays in June. We started praying in the... Um, on uh, Mondays um, since February, Global Prayers for Nigeria. And then from um, April, late April into, um, no, sorry, from May, we've been adding Fridays and we've been praying twice every week consistently. We know that God is doing a mighty work in Nigeria. No matter what the enemy says or the enemy does or the reactions from the spirit, Jesus will be glorified in Nigeria. So I want to welcome Every one of us out there, whatever parts of Nigeria you're joining us from, or if you're joining from outside the country, like some of us, I want to welcome you to Global Prayers for Nigeria tonight and get ready for one hour of intense praying as we join those that are joining us to pray tonight in the studio. It is my joy to um, introduce somebody who is going to be anchoring tonight. Um, is a friend, is a brother, is somebody who is passionate about Nigeria. As a matter of fact, this is somebody who, um, who, who calls some of those who are still the hope of Nigeria, those who are still pushing along and believing that Nigeria will be great. He's going to be bringing some amazing persons into the studio tonight to lead us in prayers. One of them um, is my own pastor, pastored me um, growing up, pastored me on campus as the pastor and some of the work he's done in my life by the grace of God is part of the fruit I'm enjoying today. And, you know, both, both ministers tonight are, you know, people have pastored me one way or the other. So it's a great delight to have them here tonight. But get ready, put on your prayer banner, put on your prayer mantle, share this video if you can. We encourage you to share it on Facebook, share it on WhatsApp, share it in every shareable format. Let as many people as possible in Nigeria and outside of Nigeria join us to pray. And let's hear your prayers, hear your comments, and be part of this. I want to bring tonight to Anchor Global Prayers for Nigeria, guest edition week 19, my friend and my brother, Treasure TK Kalu. It's good to have you here, brother. It's really good to have you here. Thank you so much, Pastor Shelley, for having me. It's an honor to be here. Thank you so much. Good evening, everybody. Praise God forevermore. Yeah, I believe we are all ready to pray. It's an honor to be chosen of God to, to make decrees, to set the pace in the yeah. realms of the heavenlies. The Bible says we shall decree a thing and it shall be established. It's not a guesswork. When we decree it, it shall be established. In biblical history, we are told of a man by the name of John Knox who lived in Scotland many centuries ago. And the Bible says this one man literally revolutionized the whole of Scotland by his prayer so that the Queen of Scotland once made a statement that she fears the prayers of John Knox more than the sound of a thousand chariots. Hmm. This is the man that went on his knees and said, God, give me Scotland or I die. Until I see a change in Scotland, I'm not going to give up. I would rather sacrifice my life 
for the change of Scotland than to live in pleasure. And he brought great revival to the nation of Scotland. And he, we are not just one here, we are many. The Bible Amen. says wherever two or three are gathered in his name, that he's right there in Jeremy. So I welcome you very specially. I want to encourage you, be in an atmosphere of prayers, minimize any distraction around you. This is not the time to multitask. It's just for an hour. After this moment of prayers, you can go back to whatever you were doing. All right. So I'm going to bring up our first uh, guest for tonight. Is an amazing and incredible man of God that I've known for almost two decades. First got to, to know him in the year, I think, 1999. Uh, then I was a member of FECA, Federal Ex-Student Christian Association. And uh, 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 one thing I love about him, we used to we used to call him the Swags Pastor. So he's somebody that makes Christianity fashionable. All right, <laughs> when he just comes in, calm. He used to wear these glasses. Then, you know, very clean talking and everything. But when he holds the microphone, he's totally a different person. And uh, he's been a role model to me over the years, somebody that I deeply admire and it's such an honor to have him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together as we receive none other but Pastor Stanley Jonas. Pastor Stanley, you're welcome. Can you unmute your mic? You're welcome, sir. You okay now? Okay. Yes, I can hear you now. Praise God. Thank you so much for all the accolades and for all those wonderful words. I am humbled to know that there's so much impact going on after so, so, so many years. Australia, thank you for this initiative. I'm a man of prayer. I love to pray. Thank and you, sir, for being here. My mortal existence, and I love to pray. Um, let me just say this before going to prayers. I understand I have like 12 minutes now. And let me also appreciate Pastor Demola. I think I heard that name. And then yeah. the other coordinators that are part of this wonderful project. I'm standing on the strength of Matthew 18, 19 that says, If two shall agree as touching anything, it shall be done for them by my Father which is in heaven. Prayer is powerful. I was studying a few days ago, and it came to my understanding what Jesus was saying in the, when he talked about the Lord's Prayer. He said, one of the lines he gave, he said, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let it be done on earth as it is in heaven. So it tells me that there are certain councils that have been established in heaven that will take prayer to enforce on earth. That is why Jesus said, whatsoever you bind on earth is already bound in heaven. Whatsoever you lose on earth is already loose in heaven. So prayer is a privilege for me. It's a priesthood upon which I stand to extract my divinity as a child of God. And as we connect to pray today for this country, Nigeria in particular, I want us to pray believing in our prayers. I want us to pray understanding that there is a God that answers prayers. Now, we are talking today about wickedness. I remember when we did this, was it a year ago or two years ago, Pastor Shelley, I can't remember. One yeah, of the two years ago I at those states, yes. Where the scripture said, the scripture said, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and then turn from their wicked ways. And I said in that prayer, and I'm still standing, and I think that that's the missing link in our praying capacity, on our, in our praying format for Nigeria. We have sought the face of God. We have humbled ourselves. But there is a last puzzle that we need to put, a missing link to that puzzle that we need to put. And that is the area we are dealing with today, which is wickedness. Mm. Wickedness. And all from their wickedness. And today, as I meditated and I asked the Lord in which direction to pray to thee, the Lord says to me, in your little minutes that you will be anchoring here, dwell on 
bringing down every conspiracy against enthroning righteousness in this land. Conspiracies. Mm. And that's what we're going to pray today. There are conspiracies going on everywhere. The ones we can see and the ones we cannot see. If you're connected right now, I want your amen to connect to this declaration that we're going to make. I raise my voice by the mercy of God and by the anchor of what Christ accomplished for us on the cross. And I'm declaring today that from the north to the south, from the west to the east, of things in the heavens, of things beneath the earth, of things on earth that conspired against righteousness in Nigeria, that conspired against the workings of righteousness in places of power, from the legislature to the executive, in the name of Jesus, so the judiciary, every conspiracy, whether coming from tribal sentiments, or coming from religious sentiments, or coming from political sentiments, or financial gain sentiments, as we raise our voice today over Nigeria, we are asking that those conspiracies will come to nullity in the name of Jesus. Those join in hand, the Bible says, the wicked will not go unpunished. Every conspiracy against the peace of Nigeria, every conspiracy against the oneness of Nigeria, every conspiracy against the resources of Nigeria, as we raise our voice together right now, we are asking that there be judgment against conspiracy in the name of Jesus. They said in Job chapter 5, verse 12, it says, God would disappoint the devices of the crafty so that their hands will not perform their evil enterprise. In this context, so that their conspiracies will not materialize. In the name of Jesus, every device of conspiracy, whether in human form, whether in animal form, Every conspiracy that the enemy is perpetrating in places we can see and in places we cannot see. We raise our voice and we ask the call to humanity over Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Every device that is enhancing conspiracy, every device that men and women in power are using for four conspiracies against what God has done for Nigeria. We take a call and we raise our voice today and we declare that those devices are disappointed in the name of Jesus. Whether religious sentiments, whether it's devices of tribal sentiments, whether devices of political gain or self gain, whether devices of ambush or devices of all kinds of ammunition, in the name of Jesus, we speak that some devices are disappointed. And these are against our policy. We are declaring today that they are disappointed. May mm -hmm. God judgment disappoint every device of conspiracy over Nigeria in the name of Jesus from the north. Mm -hmm. so we declare today that those devices are disappointed. We declare today that those devices will not materialize. In the name of Jesus, there is a conspiracy that I want to dwell in as I begin to wrap up. I believe the Bible spoke about Daniel in the book of Daniel, the six. I saw something in the street of Daniel. He said, Then this Daniel was this has distinguished himself above the governors and above all the, the satraps and above all the excellent. He had an excellent spirit. What we are going to bring out is that in that same verse 3, the Bible says, And the king thought in his head to make Daniel one of the leaders of the entire region. The king thought in his head to make Daniel one of the leaders of all the region. I want to pray today. Everyone that has a good mind and a good intention for this country in Nigeria, that has capacity to install competence, that has the capacity to install performance, but there are conspiracies against their good intention, whether from the legislature or from the executive or from the judiciary or even amongst the quality of the electorate. We are asking that by the mercy of God, such conspiracies will not
cross stand in the name of Jesus. We are asking that securities will not be built in the name of Jesus. We are declaring that men and women that have full thoughts in this country, that have the food of this country in their hearts and in their mind, and have selected people to enforce good governance to enforce productivity in different areas of the sectors of this country, but there are conspiracies against that good intention. In the name of Jesus, we lift them up. We do not care their religious inclination. We do not care their tribal connection. As long as they are Nigerians, good mind and good heart towards raising and installing people that will bring productivity upon this land. We are declaring today that every conspiracy against them will not stand. Conspiracy to take their lives, conspiracy to paralyze their businesses, conspiracy to bring them into silence. It will not stand in the name of Jesus. We are declaring the power of the Holy Ghost that men and women God has raised with a good intention over Nigeria. We declare that they will rise in their power, they will rise in their strength, they will rise in their capacity, they will rise in their of wickedness will prevail, wickedness will prevail, just like the king had a good mind for me. I am one of the leaders. I am declaring every form with good intention begin to rise to places of power in Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Scripture recorded that they conspire. They conspire. This is Nigeria right now. Trust me. Child of God, in your place of prayer, go study Daniel chapter 6. This is a, this is Nigerian case right now as we speak. Why the king imagined that I'm going to raise Daniel? Because I think Daniel has an excellent spirit. The Bible says they gathered and they look for something. They conspire to look for something that they can use as a means to paralyze Daniel. I raise my voice in agreement with all of us on this broadcast right now. Anyone that comes and prays for a time such as this, and there are conspiracies to deflate their passion, there are conspiracies to deflate their good intention, there are conspiracies to paralyze their will and make them incapacitated by the power of the Holy Ghost, those conspiracies of wickedness will not stand. In the name of conspiracies of wickedness will not prevail. In the name of conspiracies of wickedness will not stand and it will not prevail. In the name of Jesus, we lift up the that Jehovah is raising for a time such as this. We put them under a prayer over and we declare today that the conspiracy of wickedness will not prevail over them. It will not come to their friends, it will not come to their family, it will not come to their associates. They do not come to direct attack with spiritual mechanisms. We put them on the prayer cover. For the Bible says, when the righteous rule, the earth rejoices. I declare today that there will be no conspiracy of wickedness that will stand or hinder men or women with full intention, men or women that have the mind of the people and have the people in the mind to lead this country to the next level. No conspiracy will stop them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Right, now, do I see out of time? Do I see out of time, Pastor TK? Yes. Uh, just about a minute. Like a, minute. minute. A, couple, a couple more minutes, please. Give him a couple okay. more minutes. We'll wrap up with this okay. now. Okay, I can I take like three minutes. minutes. Every conspiracy to manipulate the electorates. Mm. Every conspiracy to manipulate. Let me tell you people something in a few seconds. What is going on now in Nigeria is phenomenal because I know from scripture the Bible says, In the day of your power, the people shall be willing. Shall be, yeah, yes, yes. yes. Willingness that, and it, it amazes me because people who have been praying for such a revival have seen the revival and they don't know it's revival already. 
We have people can personally begin to take responsibility to get their PVC. That has never happened in my entire existence in Nigeria. They exactly, exactly. Since I was born, and I've never seen where people are desirous on their own sensitizing themselves to go get their PVC. There is a revival, and I'm praying as I wrap up now that there will be no conspiracy against the electorate. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. Yes, we are taking, thank you, Pastor Stanley, so much for that uh, amazing session of prayers. We are still in the mood of prayers. Uh, before we bring up the next uh, uh, man of God to take us in another session, I want to read something to our hearing. In the, book, in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 28, Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 28, the Bible says, then Israel, but I'm going to put Nigeria in the place of Israel, then Israel shall dwell in safety, the fountain of Jacob alone in a land of grain and new Wine. See, in the last in the last seven to eight years, Nigeria has literally gone through a season of famine. But there's a prophetic word that we're about to enter into a season of grain and new wine. Amen. It goes on to say, His heavens shall also drop dew. Dew talks about fertility, productivity. Amen. All right. So. Yes, we should not give up as believers on this nation, Nigeria. And I believe that as we are praying, you are not going back to counter your prayers by your negative confession. You cannot yeah. do that. And you cannot even allow somebody in your space to do that. It's your job to educate them. Yes, good to have you, Pastor Demola. Good evening, sir. Please, can you unmute your mic? Let's have a brief interaction before we take it away. Good to have you, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, sir. Good evening. So, Pastor Good evening, Demola, I don't know, has the Lord given you any specific word about Nigeria? We cannot deny the fact that uh, a lot of people are in a state of despair. A lot of people, even people in the clergy, yeah, you can That's hear a lot true. of despair. So, what has the Lord That's given me any specific word? What's your conviction about Nigeria? Talk to us. Yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Mr. Kalu. My conviction is this. The, earlier, two or, two or three days ago, as I was praying, the Lord showed me a, a, a vision. And this vision he showed me, I saw the picture of Nigeria with no legs, crawling. So the Lord oh. ministered to my heart, began to speak prophetic destiny. Nigeria, you fulfill your prophetic destiny. So I began to declare, Nigeria, fulfill your prophetic destiny. Nigeria, fulfill your prophetic destiny. Then I saw legs on, on, on the country. After a while, Nigeria began to crawl. I began to declare, Nigeria, fulfill your prophetic Super. destiny. And as I began to say that, the same country began to walk, began to, mm. began to run, began so to fine. fly, and the light began to shine hey, forth. So I'm very certain, Nigeria will fulfill our prophetic destiny in Jesus' name. That's Amen. what I call it. The Nigeria will fulfill our prophetic Hallelujah. destiny. That's the prophetic for Nigeria. Nigeria will fulfill Hallelujah. it. Hallelujah. This is, like, this, this is like the vision that Ezekiel had where he was in the valley of dry bones. And just mm. by prophesying, the Bible says, bone began to come together to bones until the valley Amen. of dry bones became a valley full of a mighty. I and mean, what we are doing here is very significant. So, Pastor Demola, yes. take it away. Lead us in the thank direction you, that the Lord is leading you tonight. Thank, thank, thank you, sir. I will read the scripture, Jeremiah 22, verse 29. Jeremiah 22, verse 29. And it reads, O earth, O earth, hear the word of the Lord. Now I'm going to mm. put Nigeria 
Oh Nigeria, oh Nigeria, hear the word of the Lord. What is the word of the Lord for Nigeria in Psalm 72, verse 7? In the days, the righteous shall flourish. The word of God that Nigeria will flourish in Jesus' name. Amen. An abundance of peace until the moon is no more. So my prayer point is this. Nigeria will flourish an abundance of peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Because this is the word of God for our country. Nigeria fulfill your perfect destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Nigeria will speak. Fulfill your prophetic destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. We declare abundance of peace in Nigeria. Nigeria flourish. Nigeria will flourish. Nigeria flourish in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. I lose to Baya Kara to Basila to Bahia Elatoshte. Nigeria is a testimony from the hand of God. I lose to Baya Akos to Baya Kala to Bashekala Dushta. Nigeria, you are called to be greater. I lose to Baya Elaka Akos to Baya Aladoshte. Elakuba to Masika. Fulfill your prophetic destiny. Nigeria flourish. Nigeria flourish. I lose to Baya Akatu Basaka Lata Akos to Elatoshta. We speak peace to the country. We speak abundance of peace in Nigeria in the mighty name of Jesus. You are called to be great. You fulfill your prophetic destiny in Nigeria. Nigeria, hear the word of the Lord. Fulfill your prophetic Destiny in the mighty name of Jesus, sir. Malus to Basica Lata by Yela Kaba Kodishi, Malus to Baya Akarus to Baya Alatabadu. Hear the word of the Lord, Nigeria, and Lasso Kuba Baba. Arise, Alatuba Agakadosh, and fulfill your prophetic destiny. Alatuma Sik and Lata by Yala Dushi, Alakuba Akushisha. Nigeria are called to be great. Alatuba Si Alatusha. We seek peace to the apples of Nigeria. We pull down every force of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus, sir. Elakuba Salatuba. You are called to flourish. Nigeria, hear the word of the Lord. Flourish Nigeria in Latuba Sakalasha. Because the weekend is out of the Lord. Nigeria flourish. Nigeria flourish in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak Christian. We speak Christian. Malus to Basika Latuba Ya Alakosha. Peace in Nigeria in the mighty name of Jesus. And La Cuba Sika La Suma Sika La Cuba Dusha. Nigeria flourish. Nigeria fulfill your destiny. Nigeria fulfill your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. And look up at Kaba Suba Sika La Tushi. And La Suma Sika La Taba Baba. Nigeria get ready. Nigeria restore Nigeria God Almighty. We speak restoration upon our country in the mighty name of Jesus. And La Cuba Sika La Taba Ya. That which locals are eating. Nigeria is restored to its past glory in the mighty name of Jesus. And la Cuba Sika la Tuma Sika la Tapa Papa Papa Dushi, Malatuma Sika la Tuma Sika la Tapa Kodushi, Eka la Cuba Sika la Tapa Papa Rukushi, Nigeria flourish, and la Kaba ya Alla Tuba Sahara Kodusha. Peace into Nigeria, we speak peace. Every force of darkness will pull you down in the mighty name of Jesus. And la Kara Tapa Yeka Kalatasha, and la Karu Kustu Baya Akarusha. Nigeria fulfill your prophetic destiny. Nigeria flourish, Nigeria flourish, Nigeria flourish in the mighty name of Jesus, sir. And La Cuba Sika, you are called to be greater. You are called to be a light to nations. And La Kala Taba Kadoshita. And La Kala Tuba Saka Latoshita. Nigeria is called to be greater. And you shall fulfill your prophetic destiny. Nigeria and La Tuba Saara Koba Dasha. And like the calendar of God, Nigeria, you have to be more And you fulfill your prophetic destiny in the mighty name of Jesus, sir. We come against every Kala Tuba Sika Latoshita. We pull every darkness down in the mighty name of Jesus, sir. And La Cuba Sika Lata. We speak restoration to Nigeria. Nigeria be restored. Nigeria be restored. Nigeria be restored. In the mighty name of Jesus, Marukusa Alatuma Sika Lata Apa Baba Alatuba Sika Latuba Shita. Father God, we heal our land. We call Nigeria to be healed. In the mighty name of Jesus, and Lata Baba Baba Baba. Every land in Nigeria be healed. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Alatuba Sika Lata Baba. Glory to Alatuba. Malatuba Kalatuba Sushi. Yes, Lord. Malatuba Sika Lata Apa Baba Shita. Malatuba Nigeria 
Masi Allah Kuba Akadushi, Malatuma Se Ilata by Ye Elatushi, Akuba Sika Latapa Kudushi, Yes Loba Latuma Sika, Yes Lobi Galatuma Sika Laha, E Arukus to Baze Eladisha, you are called to be Galatuma Sika Lada, Ela Kuba Kalatuma Sika, you are called to be great Nigeria, you can love you and Talopi Kalatusa, Nigeria because they like, they like, they like to be Shosa in the mighty name of Jesus, you are called to be a light to be Shosa in the mighty name of Jesus, Nigeria, you are a light to be Shosa in the mighty name of Jesus, Balus to Basi Allah Tuma Se Allah Kadushi, yes, Lord Balatuma Se Allah Tadushi, fulfill your destiny, fulfill your destiny, fulfill your destiny, Nigeria, fulfill your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus, Malasuma Se Malatusa Kalatushi, Allah God will give you praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, sir. In Jesus' name, I read really another scripture to us, sir. God is doing wonderful things in Nigeria. We should never be discouraged. No matter what the enemy tries to do, Nigeria will fulfill a perfect destiny in the mighty name of Jesus, sir. I read on to us, Jeremiah chapter 30. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17. For I will restore else to you. Lord will restore to Nigeria all that which Nigeria has lost in the mighty name of Jesus. And I will and heal you of your wounds, says the Lord. The Nigeria, the God, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17. I read again. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17. Verse 17. And I will restore else to you and and you and heal you of your wounds, says the Lord. Because they called you an outcast, saying, This is Zion, no one seek out. Nigeria will not be an outcast among nations in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will heal our wounds in the mighty name of Jesus, sir. Let we are going to God heal our land. Heal our land. We saw our land. That Nigeria is not an outcast among the nations of the earth in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Nigeria will be said of high, high places. One men shall come to Nigeria and say, What is the difference? Because the difference is coming to Nigeria. We saw our land, our land that, Father God, the glory, a, letter, a, 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 a new glory upon the country in the mighty name of Jesus, sir. Let us pray. Father God, we thank for restoration. Heal our land, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, sir. Cleanse our land, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, sir. We see a restoration upon Nigeria. We see restoration. We see a healing. Nigeria is not going to ask us in the mighty name of Jesus, sir. Nigeria is not going to ask us among nations in the mighty name of Jesus, sir. Malatusa, Kalatusa, Salata, Baba, 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 We stop our land, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we call upon the Gia, restoration of the Gia, restoration of the restoration of the Gia, restoration of the people in the mighty name of Jesus. My liberty can be granted. Let's keep praying, let's keep praying. Liba Rosha Kali Brahman de Kete Nigeria fulfill your prophetic destiny in the name of Nigeria begin to go on Nigeria begin to run Arise and shine for the glory of God. Arise and shine for the glory of God. Nigeria flourish. Nigeria flourish. We speak peace. Nigeria is built. Nigeria is restored. Nigeria is nations among upon earth in the name of Jesus. 
Nigeria is restored. Sir. Your glory is restored upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Father God, we give you praise. Sir. Your glory is restored. Sir. A new beginning for Nigeria. Nigeria flourish. Sir. Nigeria is blessed sir. in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Father God, we give you praise. Sir. So shall it be according to your word, Father God. In Jesus' name. A new beginning upon our country. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Upon our country. Nigeria flourish. Nigeria is blessed. Nigeria is healed. It's a new order upon the country in the mighty name of Jesus, sir. You know, the guy that that God shall not own in the mighty name of Jesus, sir, because it's not of God. Nigeria rejoice for it's a new beginning. Nigeria rejoice because it's a new beginning. Nigeria rejoice because it's a new beginning. Nigeria glory is restored. Nigeria is healed. Nigeria is healed. Your glory is restored in the mighty name of Jesus. You are shot for as the light of the earth upon the upon the earth in the mighty name of Jesus. China shall rise up in Nigeria. We call Nigeria a fighter band in the mighty name of Jesus, sir. Men shall come and learn from Nigeria. It's a new order. It's a new glory. Oh, laugh, Nigeria, and rejoice. Nigeria is a nation of wrath and rejoice. That's a new beginning. Laugh and rejoice. That's a new beginning. Nigeria, rise and rejoice. Rejoice, yes, okay. rejoice, okay. rejoice, okay. rejoice, okay. rejoice, okay. rejoice, okay. rejoice okay. for Lord God has done our land. Father, give us all the honor in the mighty name of Jesus. A peaceful nation, a peaceful nation, a peaceful nation. We should not be worried. A peaceful nation. God is in charge of our country. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Pastor Bimola. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still praying, brethren. We are still praying. I want to read the scripture to our hearing as we will take the prayer into another dimension to bring specific judgment on wickedness. The Bible talks about wickedness in high places, it talks about spiritual darkness. Mm -hmm that rule over nations. In the book of Psalms 2, verse 1, the Bible says, I'm reading from the New Living Translation, it says, why, do the why are the nations so angry? The King James says, why do the hidden rage, hidden rage. and mm. the people imagine a vain thing? This vain version thing. says, why do they waste their time with futile plans? Verse 2, the kings of the earth, the kings in quote of Nigeria, the political class, the so-called power brokers, the so-called, what's that word, cabals, said they have set themselves, they have prepared for battles and the rulers, they plot together against the Lord. Nigeria is of the Lord. If you plot against Nigeria, you are plotting against the Lord. And he's anointed. He's anointed is that man that he has ordained to take over the reins of power. He's, they said, they said, let us break their chains. They cry and free ourselves from the slaveries to God. But this is where I like verse four. He said, but he who rules in the heavens shall laugh. He said, the Lord shall <laughs> laugh at them. <laughs> Do you know what it means when the Lord laughs? We are, we are going to release specific judgments over wickedness that thrives in Nigeria. Let's start by pleading the blood of Jesus. I want you to open your mouth right now and begin to plead the blood of the everlasting covenant. Plead it over the atmosphere in Nigeria, from the east to the west, the north to the south. We plead the blood of the everlasting covenant. We plead the blood of Jesus. The blood that speaks better things than the blood of guilt. The blood that speaks better things than the blood of bulls and rams. The blood that speaks better things than the blood of 10,000 virgins that are sacrificed to an ungodly altar. We plead that blood tonight over the nation of Nigeria. Yes, in the deepest parts of Sokoto, in the deepest part of Meduguri. Yes, in the south, south, in the southeast, the blood of the everlasting covenant. That same blood that separated the children of Israel from the Egyptian. That same blood that brought about light in Goshen while there was darkness in Egypt. We plead that blood tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, specifically, I want us to begin to speak into the atmosphere of Nigeria. See, let me tell you something yeah. about strategic prayers. A man of God once said that the heavens go to the highest bidder. Now, there are people 
who take their time to speak into the heavenlies. They speak into the constellation, into the sun, into the moon, into the wind, and they begin to make decrees. But we have the greater power. We are going to speak into the sun tonight. We are going to speak into the moon. We are going to say, as these evil men speak to you, do not give them a reply. Let them get no answer. When they conjure into the atmosphere, let them get no response. Let's begin to pray in the name of Jesus. We take over the constellations. We take over the atmosphere for Jesus. We take over the atmosphere for Jesus. We speak to the sun. You will only respond to righteous decrees. We speak to the moon. We only respond to righteous decrees. In the name of Jesus, we sanctify the land by the blood of the everlasting covenant. In the name of Jesus, we pull down wickedness. In the name of of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says that the blood of Jesus, the sacrifice of Jesus was made once and for all and is the greatest sacrifice. See, when elections are coming like this, you begin to hear cases of this person has gone missing, that person went missing. Now they get into the street, they begin to kidnap people. In the city of Wari, where I was raised, I've heard too many incidents of Ladies, especially that were kidnapped for ritual purposes, as the elections begin to draw closer, that will be normally be what we, we hear in the news. But because we are here, never again, never again. Let's begin to declare every ungodly uh, altar that is begin that is being fueled by the blood of innocent people. So that we bury human beings alive, they will get no response. They will get no response in the name of Jesus. Yes, he's the one that disappoints the devices of the wicked so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise in the name of Jesus. Yes, those that we say oh, for the next 60 days, I will not see the sun. I will just be making enchantments in the atmosphere against Nigeria. Father, we decree by the blood of the everlasting covenant, they will get no response in the name of Jesus. They will get no response. We decree and we declare the Lord laughs at them now. Their wisdom is turned to foolishness. The same God that turned the wisdom of our heat of their into foolishness turns their wisdom, their schemes, their wickedness, their devices into foolishness in the name of Jesus. Now let's begin to decree and declare. Let their ways be dark and slippery. Let their ways be dark and slippery. Meetings that are not ordained by God. Schemes of wickedness. Plottings of hell. You see all these things we see in the news to bring fear into the populace, to make people to be scared of going out to, uh, to vote on election day. We are going to decree and declare their ways will be dark and slippery. Confusion will be their portion as many that have given themselves over to the spirit of wickedness to be used to plot over this nation. As many that think that Nigeria is their personal possession, their personal property. Oh God, let their ways be dark and slippery. Begin to pray, ladies and gentlemen. We decree and we declare. Their ways are dark and slippery. The angel of the Lord strikes them like shout before the wind. They melt like what before the fire in the name of Jesus. When they cry out to their altar they get no response in the mighty name of Jesus now we are going to pray for them. we are going to pray for that over the years over the years there are innocent blood that have been shed just so that a few people could get access to power. And just like the blood of Abel, those people, those blood are crying out for justice. They are crying out for vengeance. We are going to use the blood of Jesus to annul all of that. And we are going to say by the blood of Jesus, Nigeria as an entity has obtained mercy. We receive mercy by the blood of the everlasting covenant. We receive mercy by the everlasting, the blood of the everlasting covenant in the name of Jesus. Let every contrary uh, cry against the soul of this nation 
we receive mercy on behalf of this nation, all the wickedness that have been perpetrated in this nation from the east to the west, the innocent lives that have been killed, the bombing, the reckless killings in the name of Jesus, the kidnapping, the ritual killings. We plead the blood and we obtain mercy for, on behalf of the land. We declare, we decree that the land is sanctified by the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. In the Amen. mighty name of Jesus. And now we are going to pray. Amen. We are going to pray against the spirit of fear. You see, see, a revival started in this country in 2020 during the end SARS protest. And I see something bigger than that coming again. The enemy rules by fear. We are going to decree and declare that the Lord will baptize all well-meaning Nigeria with a spirit of boldness, boldness, boldness Amen. to go out to vote for the right person, boldness to stand and defend. See, a, a, a man of God uh, uh, by the name of a prophet, uh, Tommy Araroni, he gave a prophetic word about, uh, I can't remember the name, but he says the, when he checked the meaning of that name, because he kept hearing Macaulay. that name. That's which, the name. Macaulay. Macaulay. Something, exactly. Yes. He said he checked the meaning of Macaulay, so that Macaulay is somebody that rules by intimidation, but he has no power. You see, these men, they just intimidate. So They want to intimidate with their money, they want to intimidate with their influence, they want to send talks. We are going to Declare and declare that boldness comes upon every well meaning Nigeria this time around until we have seen this entire process true to the glory of God. Let's begin to pray. We receive the spirit of boldness on behalf of every well meaning Nigeria. The Bible says that the Lord has not given us the spirit of fear. But the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. We banish the spirit of fear and intimidation. We transfer that fear to them in the name of Jesus. As many, as many that want to hold the soul of this nation to ransom, we baptize them a million times with fear in the name of Jesus. Yes, let the Lord laugh over them. The Lord shall laugh at them. Let their ways get dark and slippery in the name of. Of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise in the name of Jesus. Now let's begin to decree and declare as we begin to wrap it up. Let's begin to decree and declare. The Bible says that God is the one that raises one up and pulls down another. By him, kings reign and they make decrees. He says the heart of the king is in his hands and like rivers of water, he turns it wherever he wishes. We are going to decree and declare only that man that God has ordained for the seat of power, we get access. I was meditating some days ago and I, I began to think of the nation of Rwanda. When I was growing up, all I knew about Rwanda was a country that has been through genocide, war-torn country, but ladies and gentlemen, Rwanda today is more or less a first world country, and they've been able to achieve this in maybe less than two decades, just by one man called Paul Kagame that got access to power. We are going to decree and declare, Father, that man that you have ordained to lead Nigeria to a new level, to lead, lead Nigeria so the promised land, he we get access to the seat of power, begin to declare and declare in the name of Jesus. He's the one that searches the intentions of the heart. He's the one that knows the intentions of the heart. He said, God that took a man, a nobody called David from the backside of the desert and made him a king over Israel. Even when others were qualified by physical status and all credentials, but the Lord anointed for him a king in the person of David would declare, we declare that the David that will lead Nigeria to the promised land, to the place in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you Father. Oh, we Jesus. give you praise and we give you glory. Let's Amen. begin to wrap up our prayers. Let's begin to thank the Lord for the prayers so far. Let's begin to thank him for all the prayers that we have offered. 
all the intercession. We give you praise. We give you Amen. praise. If men Amen. can pray, there is a God that can hear. If Amen. men can pray, there is a God that can hear. You shall decree a thing and it shall be established. Whatsoever you bind here on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you lose here on earth shall be loosed in heaven. This Amen. one hour that we've spent together, we have made decrees into the heavenlies. Amen. And I see angels walking around, yes, moving all over the nation, bringing Amen. all of these prophetic decrees to pass in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we do praise. TK, I don't know if any of the ministers, sorry, I don't know if any of the ministers any other, has any other, we still have about 10 minutes, any of any decrees declaration in their spirits to just make you know the last few minutes it's for declarations you know if any of the ministers still has before you run off and um you know and i take a, an yes, announcement sir. i want to make a declaration if you can hear me can you hear me um, yeah, not ahead, loud enough. it's very low if it can be a bit louder all right, I, I just want to declare today, I want to speak today finally that over all the prayers we have made today, it shall not return void in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Every word that has proceeded out of our mouth will begin to accomplish in areas where they are sent right now. Let them begin to accomplish. Let them begin to accomplish. Let them begin to accomplish. Let them begin to accomplish in the name of Jesus. And I pass it. Amen. Finally, as we connect with our amen, I am raising a decree that in this season, the devices of wickedness will fail. It will amen. fail. It will fail. The devices of wickedness over the polity will fail. The amen. devices amen. over good governance will fail. The Amen. devices over our resources as a nation will fail. Let only the counsel of God stand in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. So Pastor Demola. Nigeria, hear the word of the Lord. Nigeria, hear the word of the Lord. Peace is your portion. Amen. Peace is your portion. Amen. Nigeria flourish. Amen. Nigeria flourish. Hear Amen. the word of the Lord. Nigeria, arise and shine. Arise yes. and flourish. Arise yes. and scatter. Nigeria, peace is your portion. Peace is your portion. We establish this today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Then you have flourish. Go forth Amen. and flourish. Peace is your Amen. portion. In the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. So Amen. shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yes, we decree a new order over Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Amen. A new dispensation. Amen. A new order. We bring in the east wind of the Lord to begin to blow away every form of wickedness. Amen. Yes, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. we lift up the name of Jesus as a banner over Nigeria. We plead the blood of the everlasting covenant and we decree that a new order is established today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We shall see the good of Nigeria. We shall see better days in Nigeria in the name of Jesus. What the Lord will do, he will do a quick work concerning Nigeria in the name of Jesus. The same God before whom a thousand years is like a day and a day is like a thousand years, meaning the things that could be accomplished by men in a thousand years, God can do in a day. The one who is not limited by time, we declare and we declare that the Lord does a quick work in Nigeria, mm -hmm. just like we experienced in 1998 when Abasha just gave way and it brought about the democratic dispensation. We decree and we declare something even in a greater dimension like, than that in the mighty name of Jesus. 
We shall mm -hmm. live to testify of the new day in Nigeria. In mm -hmm. Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. amen. And everybody says amen. Hallelujah. 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 Pastor Shelly, I think you can take it away. We have a four minutes to go. Um, praise God. I am very, very delighted about um, everything that's been happening tonight. I know very well. If I just let Pastor Stanley declare just now, and amen over the prayers that everything that has been said and declared, it comes to pass. I know nothing will be able to resist it in the name of Jesus. Praise amen. God forevermore. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want to thank everyone that's been joining us for, that's joined us for the past one hour to pray. And I want to encourage you to do this every week. You know, if you say, I will pray for Nigeria and you don't share, it, you are likely to forget or other things will um, take your time or attention. Or so whatever you don't schedule, you are likely to um, not do it or procrastinate or something else comes in. Make up your mind. Every Monday, everyone listening to me out there, every Monday, 9 to 10 p.m. is Nigeria time. Time to pray. Every Friday, 9 to 10 p.m. Nigeria time. That's um, West African time. When I say Nigerian time, I don't mean Nigerian clock time. I mean, it's time for Nigeria. It's time to pray and to see it and connect with other believers to pray for Nigeria. I pray for Nigeria personally, privately, but I always look forward to Mondays and Fridays where we pray in a corporate atmosphere because the Bible says one shall put to flight a thousand or two shall put to flight 10,000. It didn't say two, we put to flight 2,000. He said two, two, two shall put to flight 10,000. Imagine if all Nigerians are praying, not complaining, not giving in to the winds and caprices of the wicked, but praying and declaring, taking action, getting their PVC, doing all they should do, motivating themselves and others, and then praying because it is not by power. And the forces that Nigeria is fighting against, they are not just physical forces or the political clouds that have you know, bedeviled the country. We're dealing with spiritual forces. And if you listen to all the prayers we pray tonight, we're addressing the forces and they hear us. Praise God. So I encourage you, everyone, Monday night to 10 p.m., be back here live. Um, Fridays, 9 to 10 p.m., be back here live. Let's do this all year round. Let's do our part and watch God do his part. And God never fails. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, God bless you. TK, please, over to you. That's just the announcement I wanted to make. Thank you, Pastor Stanley. Thank you uh, of, of Stanley Jonas Impact Network. Awesome man of God I've known for decades. In fact, he's one of those that brought me up, you know, um, um, right from the university. Pastor Night Demola, my pastor in Benin, uh, Glory Pavilion Church, um, under the ministry of Reverend Dr. Phil Buke. I am so honored. We are so honored, actually. We all are so honored to have you okay. both here. My brother, the anchor tonight, Treasure TK Kalu, mighty, mighty man in many ways. A motivational speaker is a is a coach in many regards, and um, it's just a joy to have somebody this anointed out in the field doing great things in life, in society, and in the nation, and in God's kingdom as well. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. TK. Thank you. All right. So thank you, everybody. Everybody that has joined us tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you. My own gratitude to Pastor Stanley, Pastor Demola, and of course, our, our host, Pastor Shirley. Thank you for all you do. The Lord continues to strengthen you, anoint you, exalt you, enlarge your territories, amen, more amen, great, amen. more honor, more influence, more power in Jesus' name. And of course, everybody amen. that has prayed tonight, you cannot pray for Nigeria and you'll be left behind when as the change begins to occur because the pipe that supplies water must first be wet. So get ready. It will tell in your business. It will tell in your personal life. And uh, as Pastor Shelley has said, let's always make it a date Monday and Fridays. I will try my best out of my busy schedule to uh, come on board, whether I'm anchoring or not, uh, more uh, regularly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right, and so share the videos, share the prayers, encourage others to uh, be part of it. Even when the prayers are over, still share them. People can pray with tomorrow, Saturday morning, be live praying 
join the video, even though it's past, pray the one hour to just make it a point of duty. God awesome. bless you. All right. All right. So the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, grace of our Lord the Jesus love of God, Lord. and the sweet communion the sweet of the Spirit be with us all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen.